Are roast potatoes better cooked in the oven or the air fryer? Today, we're gonna find out. On Sunday, we had a roast and we made loads of potatoes because low key, roast potatoes are the best part of the roast. And we were saying, I'd have to agree with you, these oven roast potatoes are great. But what would they be like if you cooked them in an air fryer? And we're gonna find out by testing how long they take to cook, how they look, what the inside is like, and of course, the crispiness. Because what's the point in having roast potatoes if they're not crispy? Once you've peeled and chopped your potatoes, get some water on the boil and add some seasoning of salt. You should see it fizz up. Then this is a tip I picked up from Jay Kenji Lopez. Add one tablespoon of bicarbonate soda to the water. This will change the acidity of the water and help to break it down on the outside of the potato for a fluffier and then crispier roast potato. After about 10 to 15 minutes, your potato should be breaking down on the outside but still pretty intact, like this. So now strain them and give them a bit of a mix around to fluff up the outside of the potato a bit more and then leave them to steam for about 10 minutes to remove any excess moisture. So let's just do a quick run through of how to make the normal oven roasted potatoes. While the potatoes are chilling, get some oil onto a tray and preheat that in an oven for about 10 minutes. Now the potatoes are ready to cook, so once everything is preheated, we're going to put our potatoes into the tray, make sure they have enough room. You don't want any potatoes on top of each other, otherwise they won't go crispy. Then just give them a season and whack them in to cook. For the oven potatoes, I put these in at 190 degrees C, fan assisted, and this is what they look like about halfway through. Start starting to pick up some colour and getting crispy on the bottom. At this halfway point, turn them over and give them another season and cook them until they are golden brown and crispy. I could have maybe given these an extra five minutes, but they were looking pretty good to me. Then to strain off excess oil, just let them rest on some kitchen roll and don't forget to hit them with a final seasoning whilst they're still hot and there you have some bloody gorgeous looking roasted potatoes. But how do they compare to when you're cooking with the air fryer? In the air fryer, we're gonna try cooking them two different ways. In one side, we're going to take the grill out and cook them in oil, the same as you would do in the oven. So add in some oil and make sure the bottom is completely coated. For the other side, we're going to keep the grill in and just coat the potatoes with oil before cooking. To keep the cooking process the same, I preheated the air fryer as you would do in the oven for about five minutes on both sides. Put the potatoes straight into the air fryer whilst it's hot and make sure you season the potatoes. The settings for both sides was on air fry at 200 C. When they are halfway through cooking, check the potatoes and turn them over. What's interesting is when flipping the oven potatoes, the bottom of those potatoes seemed to be more crispy. For the air fryer side in oil, the top was crispy, but the bottom didn't pick up any color. Then for the air fryer with the grill, they had begun to cook all the way around and looked more crispy overall. I put them in to continue cooking and then checked on the air fryer potatoes five minutes before they should have been cooked. And on the side with the grill, they looked done, so I stopped the timer on that one and left the other side to finish cooking. Then the side with the potatoes cooking in oil actually ended up needing about five more minutes. So I turned them over again and continued to cook them until they were crispy overall. This is what both of the potatoes looked like once they had finished cooking. So here we have the potatoes cooked three different ways. The first way is in the air fryer on top of the grill. We're gonna call this AF1. Then we have this one at the back. This was cooked in the air fryer, just with oil in the bottom. We're gonna call this AF2. And then we have the oven cooked ones on the side here, and we're just gonna call them oven cooked. It's easy. And we're gonna rank these potatoes based on four different categories. We're gonna be looking at the time it took to cook them, how they look overall, the crispiness, and how they taste inside. So starting off with the time it took to cook all of these, first one, AF1, on top of the grill with the oil, that took 21 minutes, which is actually pretty quick, to be fair. Then we have AF2, which was cooked with the oil in the air fryer, and that took 30 minutes. A little bit longer, but they do look a bit better. We'll get onto that. And then we finally have the oven potatoes, the traditional way of cooking them. This took 50 minutes, by far the longest. So AF1 wins that category. This was the quickest. Now, in terms of their appearance, just looking at them now, I'd say either the oven cooked ones or the AF2 air fried with oil, those ones look the best. Not to say that AF1 doesn't look nice, but they look a little bit dry compared to the other two and a little bit less crispy. And I think it kind of depends how you like your potatoes cooked. Some people might say that these are burnt or overcooked, but I quite like them like this. And some people might say that this is a little bit better with a little bit less colour. We're going to go with the tie with that one. These two. Time, that one, not so good. I'm gonna show you them all now and label them, so let me know in the comments down below which one you think looks the best. Right then, for the next category, we're gonna look at the crispiness and the crunch. Now, these have been sitting out for a while now while I'm trying to get some content, but they should still retain some of their crispiness. Let's start off with the oven coat. 
That still sounds really crispy actually. That sounds good. All right, so now we're gonna have a bite of them. Apologies if you don't wanna look inside my mouth. Um, I'll try and make this discreet. That's good, nice and crispy. Air fryer too. Let's see how crispy this is. That one was really crispy. <laughs> that is really good. Wow, even the inside of that is incredible. So let's see this one. It's got a little bit, but yeah, it kind of seems a bit dry. Not much bite there. <laughs> to be fair, these were actually quite crispy when I first took them out. Leaving them out hasn't helped with the crispiness score. But I guess at least we know that these two are gonna hold up better when it comes to crispiness. They're gonna stay crispy for longer compared to just the air fried, not in oil. Again, that might have to be a tie between the oven and the air fry too. Actually, after reviewing all the footage, I'm gonna have to give the win to air fry too. Just listen to that crunch. And last of all, we're gonna try out the inside. Let's start with AF1, let's try it. It is good, but it isn't quite as creamy or as soft as you might like, probably because it wasn't cooked bathing in oil. Now let's look at AF2. The texture is definitely better in this one compared to AF1. It's a lot creamier, it's softer. Let's go for the oven cooked ones. It's very similar to the air fried with oil as well. Nice and soft, a bit creamy, very nice. Again, I think it's gonna have to be a tie between the oven cooked and the air fried too with oil. Not much to separate, pretty much the same. I'm gonna end up eating 30 potatoes by myself, and I'm not mad about it. So quite anticlimactic, but I wouldn't say there's a real winner. Maybe the air fryer cooked in oil might just edge it. The only big difference is that the air fryer took 20 minutes less. But depending on the size of your air fryer, you might not be able to fit as many potatoes into it. In my air fryer, I got about nine or 10 in one side. Compared to in the oven, you could probably easily fit around 30 potatoes. So there's a pro and con to both. You can either cook your potatoes in the air fryer quicker and have less of them, or you can cook more of them in the oven, but it's gonna take longer. But it's cool that you can get the same result in the air fryer, if not better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Fucking love roast potatoes.